In my last video, I did a little bit of speculation as to how exactly Rogue One is going to end. As for how Rogue One is going to begin, we don't really have to wonder anymore. And just a fair warning, possible spoilers here, but it's just about the very beginning of the movie, so not really. This past weekend at Salt Lake Comic Con, several members of the Lucasfilm Story Group, including creative executive Pablo Hidalgo, were on hand doing various panels related to all kinds of things Star Wars. Over the handful of various hour-long panels that I was able to go to throughout the weekend, there was a ton of quality discussion about Star Wars, with things both old and upcoming that I wanted to touch on, and to do it all in one video would be obnoxiously long, so I'm going to break it up into various different topics throughout this entire week. And I want to start off with one particular panel where Pablo Hidalgo was flying solo as the moderator and only person on stage for this panel, basically giving a little bit of a look ahead to Season 3 of Star Wars Rebels and the upcoming Rogue One. And while we didn't get anything that was too major or too descriptive of things, we did get at least a little bit of info that there is one particular character in Rogue One that's responsible for sort of setting all the events of this movie into motion. And that character is Bodhi Rook. Yeah, probably didn't see that coming, did you? Apparently, Bodhi begins working with the Empire, hence the Imperial logo on his sleeve, and upon feeling conflicted about contributing to things that he doesn't feel right about, defects from his post with the Imperials, launching somewhat of a manhunt to find him before he can give valuable information to the enemy of the Empire. You know, that all sounds a little bit familiar. So yeah, according to Pablo Hidalgo himself, this is pretty much what sets into motion the events of Rogue One. And if I were taking guesses, I would say that we're not really going to get much more info, if any at all, before December 16th as to the actual plot of things. Or I guess the rest of the plot of things. There were a couple other tidbits from this particular panel that I wanted to touch on really quick too, starting with director Orson Krennic, which I believe the exact words used by Pablo Hidalgo were that he desperately seeks an audience with the Emperor, which leads me to believe that Krennic has never actually actually met Palpatine, that Palpatine is very reclusive, and, and Krennic basically wants to do all the impressive things, and, and in somewhat of a loose canon manner, it was sort of described as, to actually be able to sort of brown nose up to Palpatine, it sounds like. The other new bit of character info we got was in regards to Forrest Whitaker's character Saw Gerrera. Now, a lot of people noticed that between the initial teaser trailer for Rogue One and the most recent trailer that came out, uh, in the first trailer, Saw Gerrera was bald, and in the most recent trailer, had hair on his head. Uh, Pablo Hidalgo stated that we will see both versions of Saw Gerrera in this film. So at somewhere along the line, he's basically going to lose his hair. I know that's not the most monumental thing ever, but I think at least clears up a little bit of speculation as to what exactly was going on there. Uh, and, and my first inclination was that that may have been part of the things that were reshot during the July reshoots. And I guess it's also worth mentioning that Pablo made a quick remark regarding a lot of speculation with some connection between Jin Erso and Ray, basically saying to not lump them in the same bucket. In other words, probably let go of any idea of Jin Erso being Ray's mother. Anyway, that is all for this little bit of news that we got on this particular panel at Salt Lake Comic Con. It was really interesting to hear these descriptions and sort of this kind of ambition that the, the people from the Lucasfilm Story Group have for everything upcoming. Uh, later this week, I'm going to have a few videos on things regarding Rebel Season 3, talk of what exactly a Grey Jedi is, and a little bit of discussion about Balance in the Force. Uh, all were a handful of topics discussed throughout the weekend so stay tuned for those make sure you subscribe so they don't miss them if you enjoyed this video click the like button if you have any thoughts on it be sure to comment them but above all else everybody thanks so much for watching